Watch out. All right, welcome back. I know you guys have missed me and you guys are hopefully um, just waiting for your next hit of mathematics. Well, here it is, I have delivered. Um, this is Venn Diagrams part two. Um, so we kind of started a little bit on last, from the last video. If you guys need anything, um, go back and watch it again. It's there. Um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually create a Venn diagram. Because what is often kind of done in, in tests or even questions is they'll give you a whole bunch of information and what they'll do is they'll ask you to put it into a Venn diagram. All right, now, because last time I thought it was fun to, to use you guys as an example, I'm gonna do it again. This is something that Mr. Chambers and I care very much about. It's how many people bring books and pens. Okay, so here's our example in a class of 50 students. All right, that's roughly you guys. Let's say 43 students brought a pen. Not bad, that's pretty good. 45 students brought a book. Very good. Um, but there was only 40 students that brought a book and a pen. They brought both of them. Now what they'll ask you to do is they'll ask you to complete the Venn diagram. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I actually kind of want to label um, these kind of circles. It's either someone brings a pen or someone brings a book. So I'm going to label the first circle P for pen and the, um, I'm going to label the other circle B for book. Um, now it says here there's 43 students brought a pen, 45 students brought a book, 40 students brought a book and a pen. Now let me give you a hint. Every time we do a question like this, you always want to start with the one where you've got and, right? So if you're looking for that and, where two things happen, that's where you want to start. So we know that 40 students brought a book and a pen. So what that means for me is, that means I have to have 40 people that brought both. That means 40 is going to be the number that I put in between my two circles. Okay, now I also have to look around here and now I have to do a little bit of math. Oh, surprise. I have to do a little bit of math here. So if there's 40 people that brought a book and a pen, but there were 43 students that brought a pen, how many students actually just brought a pen? Well, it's gonna be whatever my 40 is. Uh, well, it's gonna be 43 take away 40, isn't it? Because there was 43 people. Now, if I just put the number three in here, if I think about it, how many people brought a pen altogether? If I look at the whole C, if I look at the whole kind of circle, I can see here that there's 30 plus, or oh, three plus 40, which is 43. So there's my 43, that's where that comes from. Okay, now the other one, I'll have to look here. There's 45 students that brought a book. Now I've already accounted for 40. So that means the other would just have to be five. So if I add those two together, if I look at my books, how many books do I have all together? 40 plus five, that gives me, yeah, you should have said 45 if you didn't speak up. Um, so I've got that. Now, I'm almost done, but there's something that doesn't quite add up. If I add these numbers together, what's three plus 40 plus five, right? That means that there's 48. Now, how many did I say we were in this class? I said that there were 50. So where did these last two people go? There's two people missing. So that means they go on the outside. Now, what that actually means is these people actually didn't bring a book or a pen, all right? I know some of you guys sometimes rock up to a class without a book or a pen. That's you, you're the two, okay? So that is that. Um, now, once we kind of fill out a, a Venn diagram like that, that's exactly how we fill it out, okay? The hardest part, and again, I can't stress this enough, and I'm gonna write it here so you guys will remember. And I'm gonna write it in what's a color that you guys will all remember how about purple let's pick a nice purple and i'm gonna write it like this always start in the middle okay that's going to be your easiest way to kind of figure this out always start from the middle and then work your way outwards okay that middle there being being that 40. cool so now that we've got that what they'll often do is they'll ask you questions based on this. Now I'm going to switch my screen up again so you can see the questions and um, the Venn diagram. Uh, let's try answer these. I'll answer these in blue. Okay, so we can see here the question would be how many people didn't bring a book or a pen? So that there we can see there's two people. So there's two people that didn't bring a book or a pen. That means they wouldn't be in the P circle or the B circle. 
It's the ones on the outside, too. How many people brought a book but no pen? Okay, so that means we're looking for the people that are people that brought a book but didn't bring a pen. There's only five, okay? So there's only five people. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, now, the last question here, now I want you to see what's different between question A, B, and C. All right, this one says, what is the probability, okay, hopefully you remember, probability of picking someone at random with all their class equipment? Okay, now this is different from A and B because A and B was just saying, how many, how many? But part C, it says, what is the probability, all right? Now, what is probability? Probability is favorable events over the total outcomes okay favorable outcomes over total outcomes so in this case here what's the probability of picking someone at random with all their class equipment how many people have all their class equipment that means book and a pen that's 40 people so that means 40 is going to go on top of my fraction and what am i going to put at the bottom it's going to be the total amount of students so how many students were there there were 50 and so my probability would be four out of five, or if you want to write it in a percentage, it's 80%, right? Not bad, should be 100, but I'll take 80 for now. So that is how we kind of complete a Venn diagram or how we draw or how we make a Venn diagram. Just remember, again, I'm gonna stress it again, start from the middle and work your way out. Once you can do that, you can answer all the questions that they throw at you, okay? And also, just remember, there's also a difference between the number of people and also the probability or the likelihood of picking a person. Okay, hopefully that helps. See you guys later. Bye.